I'll go first to Marvin Vinay, um, the Chief Advocacy Officer from Tech Goes Home. Good morning, everyone. Well, afternoon at this stage. Indeed. Sorry. Um, my name is Marvin Vinay, Chief Advocacy Officer, as has been mentioned, of Tech Goes Home. We're a leading Boston-based nonprofit that has been working for more than two decades to advance digital equity by providing reliable internet devices, culturally responsive digital skills training, and so forth. I want to start by thanking uh, Councillor Bach, Councillor Brereton, uh, Flynn, uh, Mejia, Lugian as well, for your support continuously and your efforts to really uh, make this digital equity a promising um, solution for the residents of the City of Boston. The Digital Equity Assessment commissioned by the City of Boston and released last year found that while the availability of broadband internet expanded over the past decade, it still remains out of reach for many Bostonians. Even among those with access to both broadband and a computer, many still struggle to use those tools effectively. This means that tens of thousands remain disconnected due to struggles with affordability, navigating complex cost program enrollment processes, access and usable devices, and a lack of relevant accessible training and support. These Bostonians re uh, re residents remain unable to access the digital world to search for and utilize essential services, participate in telehealth, submit job applications, complete homework assignments, and connect with loved ones, just to name a few. Barriers to digital inclusion, include bro including broadband access, are compounded for low-income residents, and particularly those living in affordable housing. Adoption and affordability remain key concerns, and as the digital equity assessment highlights, a lack of broadband connectivity exacerbates the systemic socioeconomic challenges many residents are already facing. Currently, there are few incentives for internet service providers or property owners to make investments in broadband and public housing. For the internet providers, they see little profitability and are under no policy or mandate requiring them to develop affordable access in these units, whereas owners of affordable housing developments may lack the time, resources, or tools to implement important broadband improvements and are often unaware of the broader effects of digital equity on residents. To help communities overcome persistent barriers to access, TGH has leveraged both public and private support, including the American Rescue Plan funded, allocated by this council to provide affordable internet devices, skills training, to sustainably expand digital equity throughout our communities. We work with community-based organizations in Boston and across Massachusetts, including several affordable housing developments to identify Tech Goes Home instructors and then support those trusted community leaders as they provide TGH programming to learners to help identify and recruit. Our comprehensive community-based approach allows our learners to confidently participate in the digital world. We've graduated nearly 40,000 individuals in the past decade. We've seen that digital inclusion leads to opportunities of workforce development, career advancement, economic mobility, and 74% of our adult learners use these skills to gain with TGH to access job searching resources. And in the past five years, more than 3,000 of our graduates found new jobs and more than 2,000 earned pay raises in the year after their course. The results of TGH programming in Boston and across Commonwealth prove that participation and in advancement through digital world is possible, giving the necessary tools and support, but it's predicated on access, especially for residents, like folks living in affordable housing who face compounded barriers to connectivity. While Tech Goes Home is able to support access in the short term, by providing a digital device and up to a year of internet at no cost, utilizing hotspots where broadband isn't available, greater investment is necessary to ensure that all residents can and stay online. We urge the City Council and the Mayor and the state and federal leaders to prioritize long-term improvements to digital infra infrastructure and invest in personalized support and training as an important supplement to the significant investment in the city and state are making to expand affordable housing and strengthen our economy. I'd like to thank the council, Mayor Wu, and the city for your attention to this matter, and we really continue would like to be a supporter of all the work that you are doing. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Marvin, and thank you for all the work that you and Tech Goes Home are doing.